Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the P238. In all my videos, I can't believe I actually haven't done a solo review on the P238. And I thought it would also be a really good time to do a comparison of the old P238, which I've had around four years, compared to a brand new P238 I actually bought on sale for around $79 to have on backup and we can compare and contrast to see if this has lost performance over time with heavy use over four years or so and then maybe that's going to help you pick if you want to buy an older tool uh, that's on sale right now or if you should wait just go ahead and get those new tools so stick around everybody we're going to put it through the gauntlet today So as we're taking a look at this, let me just explain some of the features and then we'll go through some of the specs. So this is on the 18 volt plus pl one plus platform, which has over 175 different tools. This can go up to 2200 inch pounds of torque, which is pretty phenomenal, especially for a tool that is this old. Uh, the total weight's right around 2.7 pounds. This produces 4,000 impacts per minute. Um, this also, I mean, it has three different settings as well on here. So one, two, three. On the first setting, so let's go through the RPMs. That's up to 1,050 rotations per minute. On the second setting there, that's going to produce 2,200 rotations per minute. And on the third setting, that's actually going to produce 3,200 rotations per minute. And that's pretty phenomenal, especially for this drill. Something that I love about these particular, and I keep calling it a drill, I know it's an impact driver. It's just a force of habit. So, you know, calm down, everybody. If you notice there, it has tri beams that uh, go around the collet here, which is uh, right on the front of the drill. This is really great because it eliminates a lot of the shadows. Uh, the collet itself auto eject so this does come with a nice little Phillips bit it's a pH 2 so you push it in you pull the collet out and it ejects and for everyone uh, it's going to be hard to see the collet is actually very well balanced a lot of people complain about the wobble but I'm not really seeing a lot of wobble in this one some other great features which makes this impact driver uh, famous is that it, it houses a magnetic tray. It has a bit holder on the front of it here. Uh, and it has a belt clip which can go on either side depending on if you're left or right handed. I will say this, my old guy here, I dropped him from 10 feet. I broke the belt clip off which took the internal anchor off of here and uh, it broke but not to worry I just put it on the other side and I'd hang it from the opposite direction and it works just fine as well the uh, impact driver itself still works just fine but let's just take a minute and uh, take note of the tones I understand that this is a brand new motor and everything's brand new inside of it but let's just hear, hear how they sound side by side so I'll do the old one first and the new one You can definitely tell the sound change between these two, and the reason why is because this does have some uh, pretty good wear on it. These are both brushless motors, so they're going to last the test of time. Something to consider inside of them that they are greased within the housings, the front of the housings. I have not re-greased the old one here, so you know it's um, it's not going to sound the same. It's going to be a little bit looser, especially from the hammer hitting inside. Um, and this guy, you know, it doesn't have any type of wear on it. So, the this is a, a, a pretty neat little test that I think that we're going to do and, and maybe show you the quality over time. Let's talk a little bit about the test. We're going to do the gauntlet. And then, uh, before we actually get started with all these, while the batteries are fresh, and while we're talking about batteries, I'm going to be using the 
6 amp HP batteries, which pairs perfectly with these drivers because, if you notice right back here, they have two extra connections in the back, two extra connections in the back. They talk to each other, and the theory is that it produces more torque when needed, so you can drive those bigger things and uh, get a little bit more performance out of it. So, before we drain those batteries, we're actually going to do a torque test. Without further ado, hey, let's just go ahead and get into it. Go. Alright everybody, that was interesting, huh? Is that something that you actually expected? That the old P238 would actually beat the new 238? Well, it makes sense to me, and the reason why is because the new P238 hasn't actually been broken in yet. And for impacts, and actually uh, for that matter, most tools need to be broken in, and then at the end of the day it's going to perform the same as this. But the disparity between them was pretty... Uh, uh, you know, it was surprising. I thought that this would underperform compared to this even though it was out of the box. I thought that it would have maybe have missed a step over the years because I've used it so much and I've tortured it so much and you can watch my past videos to see how much I've actually tortured it. I've made it smoke before. Um, but it hasn't. It's not missing a step at all. I mean, this thing is is kicking butt and taking names uh, and I expect this one to be the same exact one, uh, way you know, after a week of use or so. Uh, so the point of this video is A, the durability, the reliability, uh, and how well this is holding up against the test of time is, is awesome. Then I've got my primary, I've got my backup, and I'm hoping that'll get me through at least the next 10 years as long as Ryobi doesn't change the battery platform, which I'm confident that they're not. So I hope that this video helped you in some way at least making a decision or just for entertainment purposes. If it did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everybody.